Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Luminar Neo migration tool. Switching from Luminar AI to Luminar Neo was challenging, especially for users with large catalogs and big library of custom presets. That's why Skylum created a special tool for owners of Luminar AI who would like to easily transfer their photos and templates to use them in Luminar Neo. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access this tool and how to use it. The migration tool is a free tool that allows you to transfer your templates and the catalogs from Luminar AI to Luminar Neo. Transfer all the templates you created in my template folder, plus all the photos from Luminar AI catalog to Luminar Neo while preserving all the edit steps that were taken. Now this is a good time to mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Masterclass. If you want to master your editing workflow in Luminar Neo, you should get this Masterclass with over 63 lessons and more than 5 hours of training in 4K quality. If you want to find out more about it, make sure you follow the link in the description or head directly to our website cleverphotographer.com. Before we're going to start, I should mention that the migration tool requires Luminar Neo version 1.4.1. It was released today on 11th of October 2022. You can also have the later version, however, the minimum is 1.4.1. And also, the migration tool doesn't currently work for the templates purchased from the Skylum Marketplace. It only works for the templates that are in a My Templates folder. But I will explain you all of that in a moment, so don't worry about it too much. First of all, let me show you how to get the Luminar Neo migration tool. To start, we need to go to the Skylum website at the usual address skylum.com. Here at the home page, you just need to log in to your profile. To do that, just click on the login in the top right corner of the screen. Here, fill in your details and just click sign in. Once you sign in, come back to your icon, click on it, and here select My Software. Inside of the My Software page, you will see the Luminar Neo Migration tool on the top. All you need to do here is to click on Download. It will take a few seconds and it will download. It's about 150 megabytes big, so depending on the speed of your internet, it may take a few seconds or a few minutes. After that, just follow the installation and get it ready so we can use it. Once you have the tool downloaded and installed, it's pretty much ready to be used. However, before we're gonna do that, let's check a few more things. So at the beginning, I mentioned that your Luminar Neo has to be up to date. So let's check that. Let's open Luminar Neo. And here in Luminar Neo, let's make it a little bigger. We're gonna navigate towards the top left corner of our screen where we can click on the Luminar Neo logo. It will open and here simply click on About Luminar Neo. Now here you will see your version of Luminar Neo. What you need is minimum 1.4.1. If your version is anything below, you need to install the update. To do that, all you need to do is to navigate back towards the logo of Luminar Neo, click on it, and then click on Check for Updates. It will take a few seconds, and then after that you will be able to install the latest update and latest version of Luminar Neo. For me, you can see I don't have to do it, I already done it, so I can just close this, and now we can minimize Luminar Neo and move into the Luminar AI. Let's make the Luminar AI bigger and see what we have here. 
So first of all, this is just a test catalog. I have a two simple folders here. I have an autumn landscape and autumn portraits. And I also have one little album here. This is just including pictures that I have edited. As you can see, I have edited three of these images so we can check that the edits really get transferred from Luminar AI to Luminar Neo. The next thing we wanna check are our templates. So let's go into the templates module. And here in the templates module, we wanna be navigating towards the my template. Click on it to open it. And here you maybe have none or you have a large list of templates. To transfer these templates into Luminar Neo, you don't have to do anything. They just need to be here. So if you have any templates anywhere else, you just need to import them in the Luminar AI before you're going to do the migration. So all the templates that are here in my template section are going to be automatically transferred from Luminar AI to Luminar Neo. The final step before the migration is to check where is our catalog located. For this, we need to go on the top of our screen, go into the file, and then you can see the catalog here. All you need to do is to click on Show in Finder. When you click on it, it will open the Finder and show you the location of your catalog. In my case, again, it's a test catalog and I have it in my sample files. Now I can close this. And finally, we can move towards our Luminar Neo migration tool. So before we are going to use it, let's just one more time make sure that we have done all the steps we needed before. Number one, our Luminar Neo is up to date. It's at least on a version 1.4.1. Number two, all of the templates we want to transfer are in my template section of Luminar AI. And finally, we know where our Luminar AI catalog is located. So all we need to do here is just look at the list here. So we have the Luminar AI templates to Luminar Neo presets. So we don't need to do anything here. There is already checked there. Now we need to add the location of the catalog. For that, simply hover over the text of the add catalog. It will become a little bit brighter. And when you click on it, it will open a new window and you will be able to navigate towards the location of your catalog. For us, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go into our Luminar AI catalog, then select it. And then inside you will see the actual catalog, which in my case is called migration catalog dot Luminar AI. Simply click on it to select it and then click on open. Now, while we're here, it's good to mention that you can actually migrate multiple catalogs at the same time. So to show you how it's done, I have created another test catalog. So simply again, hover over the text, click on it, and then again, navigate towards the location of another catalog. So in my case, again, I put it in the same location. This time it's called winter. So you make sure that you don't just select the folder, but you double click on it, open it, and then select the folder inside. Then you click on open. And now you can see that I have my templates ready to be transferred. I have my migration catalog autumn. I have also my migration catalog winter. So we are not only migrating the templates, but also two catalogs. Once I'm happy with it, all I need to do is to click on migrate. It only takes a few seconds. And once it's finished, it opens two new windows where we can see the migrated catalogs. Now, when we make it a little bigger, you can see that this is our winter catalog. And when we make this one a little bigger, you can see this is our autumn catalog. So now it's time to go into Luminar Neo. So as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and this is where we're going to continue. But before we're going to do that, make sure that you close and reopen the application so all the presets, templates, and images get transferred over. So to do that, let's just quickly close it and open it again. Let's make it nice and big. And the first thing we're going to check is to make sure that our templates got transferred into the presets. For this, we need to go into the presets module and we can do that by clicking on the presets on the top of our screen. Now, here we need to navigate towards our presets toolbar and here select my presets. As you can see, here we have the warm autumn, warm park walk and warm portrait, which we had earlier in Luminar AI. So we can see that our templates got transferred. So now let's go back into our catalog module. And next thing we need to do is to open our migrated catalog. For this, we need to go to the top of our screen and click on file. 
inside of a file, click on Catalog, and then go into the Open. This will open a new window, and you need to go ahead and locate the location where your original Luminar AI catalog was. In our case, it was in the sample files, Luminar AI catalog, and here, as you can see, the original name of our catalog was Migration Catalog Autumn, and the new catalog is called Migration Catalog Autumn Migrated. So let's just double click to open it, and then select the file with the Migration Catalog Autumn. Click on Open. And it will just take a few seconds and it will open the catalog in Luminar Neo. Now you can see all the images are here, including the three images that I have edited earlier. Let's select this one, click on it, and then bring it into the edit module where we can check the edit. When it opens, you can now go into the edit tab and see that all the edits that you have done in Luminar AI are going to be here and you can adjust them. Now, what happens? if you use a tool that is not available in Luminar Neo. So basically, you use a tool that is only available in Luminar AI. Let me show you. So let's select this image and move it into Edit Module. In the Edit Module, we can again open the Edit tab and see the different edits here. However, I remember that in Luminar AI, I have used the Augmented Sky AI to add the moon and this tool isn't available in Luminar Neo. So what happens? Basically, Luminar Neo creates a tool here that is called Luminar AI Adjustments, and that's where this area is stored. Now, you can change it, you can adjust it. However, you can remove it if you want to. Every other tool that is available here is available, and you can adjust it afterwards. So let's say that I want to remove the moon. All I need to do is to click on this layer and this tool, and then click on the little bin, to remove it from the image. So that way it's done, and I can continue with the edit. And there you have it. This is how you use the Luminar Neo migration tool to take your catalog and your templates from Luminar AI into Luminar Neo. It's really easy to use as long as you remember a few steps. Number one, make sure that your Luminar Neo is at least on version 1.4.1. Number two, make sure that all your templates are in my templates folder in Luminar AI. Number three, you want to make sure that you know where is the location of your catalog. And number four, make sure you restart Luminar Neo before you're going to look for your presets and your new catalog. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminargift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.